Okay, hi everybody. It's been a long time since I've done a easy peasy cooking show, but um, I'm doing one tonight and it's a funny one. Um, it's 2023, uh, February, and I figure I should do these more often to get me on video. Oh, like who cares, but here they are. And this is a, I follow on Instagram, a website or like a, a post uh, of 70s dinner parties. I love it because I love vintage, ugly, old food. I even collect cookbooks with it because it just baffles me how they thought things were pretty. But the recipe uh, for this is an appetizer and I thought I'd try it. So it's, um, it's a, I have to go down this slow? I guess not. Here I am. Okay. So it's um, uh, dill pickles, kosher dill pickles, whole ones, not sliced or whatever, or spears, but whole ones. And it's cream cheese. I mean, oops. And it's that easy, right? So apparently what you do is <laughs> you, and John, I just told John about it, and he's like, oh shit, then, you know, Excuse me, that that doesn't sound good, but I'm thinking it kind of does because you get the salty and a little bit of cheese. But what you do is you take the the pickle, take the pickle, <laughs> and you cut off each end, and then you take a melon ball thing and you hollow it out, which I don't know how that's going to work, so we'll find out. And then you take cream cheese and you stuff it inside, and then you like. Um, chill them and then when you go to the dinner party before you slice up the pickle and put them on a pretty platter and they're pickled cream cheeses and I was thinking they probably look cute with like a little pimento on them to give them a little dash of color so anyway uh, we'll get right to it and um, I mean look at the ingredients it's not much and I'll keep you posted so let me start cutting and hollowing, and then I'll get back to you, okay? Hang in there. So you know what I decided? The cream cheese just seemed too boring to me. So I added a uh, relish in it, like dill relish, pickle relish. And I'm gonna mix that up, and then that's gonna be my stuffing in the pickle. So when I get them ready to stuff, I'll come back, okay? So this pickle jar of, of 24 ounces gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pickles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pickles. That's it. Freaking eight pickles is all I got in that jar. And you know, the recipe looks like real big pickles. Well, look at these pickles. They're not that big. I mean, what happened to really big pickles? So now I got to melon these with the melon thing. I don't know really how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to start scooping it out. How do I do that without like ruining the skin, right? <sighs> okay. Well, I think I'll use a knife, not a melon thing because that's just not gonna work. And I wanna scoop it out without, um, you know, ruining the skin. Like that just don't make sense. Or I think in the 70s, like everything, we got more for our buck and look, look, see that's not very good. And they were bigger. So, how the hell what, excuse me, how am I going to melon get this whole inside of this pickle out? Well, it's kind of coming out. I hope you can see. There you go. I hope you can see. I'm trying to, I'm, uh, the knife seems to be easier than a, a melon thing because they're not big enough, right? So, I'm hollowing out the pickle. My daughter would love this. She loves pickles. 
She's loved pickles her whole life. She likes those those pickles, the big jumbo ones you can buy <laughs> like at the gas station <laughs> or anywhere. She used to like those as a kid, so she's a pickle lover. Okay, so this kind of worked. Kind of hollowed it out. I don't know if you can see through it, but it kind of worked, so we'll see. Right? But that's not easy. And you don't wanna you don't wanna cut the the skin because that's your casing that will hold the pickle together. That'd be good stuff to keep there. So you know I forgot to mix my cream cheese thing. So I'm gonna kinda mix it up. I know it's a weird recipe. But when I saw it, I, I just cracked up because I thought they thought this was pretty. So actually, I wanted to take it to Super Bowl as a joke where we're going this weekend. I'm taking chicken wings, but I thought, wouldn't it be funny if I took this vintage, I'm going to use my hands, this vintage um, recipe. So actually, this, this I think adding the, like, the relish into the cream cheese gives it more color and see and texture too i mean not texture but you know like just it looks prettier okay so <laughs> i guess i'm just gonna stick it in there like that like stick it in there because then you're supposed to let them chill for a while so you like just stuff it inside the pickle But it feels like it's just in the end. It's like it's not going deep. Oh, I don't know how they even made a recipe like this. This is just so funny. I mean, you look at those vintage cookbooks and the pictures are hysterical. I follow Amy Sedaris too. She's a comedian. She's so funny. And she posts a lot of vintage, funny, funny stuff. And she's a really good cook. I She makes a great cheese ball too. Never had a good, she used to make them when she first started out and sold them to make money at Christmas. And it's the Amy Sedaris cheese ball. If you need to make a really good cheese ball for holidays or parties, check that out. Okay, so I don't think I'm all the way in the pickle. And then when you push it in, it comes back out. <laughs> oh gosh, well, okay. So I don't know if I'm gonna even make it through all these. Uh, I guess I'm stuffed. Let me rinse it off. Oh, <laughs> you didn't see that. Okay, okay. So there you go, it's rinsed off and it's stuffed. So that's a stuffed pickle, okay? So I'm not gonna bore you. I will stuff the rest of them and I'll get back to you, okay? Hang on, we'll be right back. Okay, so I don't have the patience to try to hollow out a whole pickle. So I came up with the idea that I slice the pickle down one side and I kind of open it up, right? Like this, like just open it up and then I hollow out the pickle part. I mean, can you imagine someone doing this before a dinner party and having the time to do this or whatever? I mean, this is like, this is like crazy. I wonder in those days if they even did test kitchens or whatever, or they just came up with an idea and put it in a cookbook. I mean, that's just crazy. So my idea here is I hollowed out the pickle, right? Like that. And then I take the cream cheese and I lay it inside, <laughs> kind of like a pepper. If you were gonna do like a, a red or orange or yellow pepper, if you stuff in peppers, and then kind of mash it down. And right now it's really soft, but once it like gels and creams up, it will be solid and then I'll just slice it like the recipe asks you to do. Because there's no way 
I can sit here and hollow that out and hollow that up, make it in the center. There's no way. So, again, this is easy peasy Cindy's way, and that's what I'm doing. So, I'll finish them and come back to you. Okay, so I was thinking, you know, why even hollow it out? Just slice it across, kind of like a, a celery stick, but you're just kind of opening it up a little bit like this, still having the skin on the bottom, but keep the sides full of pickle. And then stuff it. So, because I got tired of trying to hollow it out and making it, you know, why not keep like half the pickle still there and like your stuff and celery. So again, you know, this is my cooking show so I can do what I want. And I've decided that's what I'm gonna do. So my pickles are stuffed and I love all the pickle extra stuff here. And just a FYI, never, never throw out pickle juice. You can use it a lot in salad dressings and you know, it's just really good to have in the fridge for something else or whatever to add to something. I, I never throw out pickle juice, I, I keep it because it's always good. You can even marinate like your own like onions in it or um, cucumbers or whatever, like slice up a cucumber, stick it in the pickle juice and you can eat it like, you know, it's fun. So I never throw that out. So <laughs> I'm gonna uh, clean these up. This is, this is what it looks like, but I think once the cream cheese hardens in it, then we'll come back another day, not today, but when I'm ready to take them to the Super Bowl party and see how many people will like them. Um, and they're sliced up, I'll take a final picture and let you know how it came out. So again, thank you for joining me on my Easy Peasy cooking show. Everybody stay healthy and um, I'm glad I'm back. And I hope you continue to watch me and enjoy my shows and I need to do more. It, I've just been kind of quiet and I need to get back to having fun. Okay? Love you. Bye-bye.